Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel. Everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you so much for this beautiful Sunday that you've blessed us with. I thank you, Lord, for the food that I'm about to receive. I ask that you would bless it, that it may be nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for everything, every day. Amen. So you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and it's really just a breakfast Stop in, check in to see how you're doing, say hello, love on you for a little bit. Then I got some stuff to do and I'm going to shoot another video. So, today is just a quick bite, breakfast bite. I've got my coffee, of course. Mm. Here's my pumpkin cup. I have a ton of pumpkin cups, you guys, fall inspired pumpkin cups. I can't help it. I love it. So anyway, I've just got some Danish. I have a cheese Danish and I have a cherry Danish. They're huge. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to eat both of these, but I do want to try them both. So I'll probably eat half of each. I did not make these. I bought them at Costco yesterday while I was out and about. I went there for my seafood. I didn't get everything I wanted there, but I got some things there. Let me cut this in half, you guys. And I guess you can warm these up, but I didn't, obviously. I've never had them before. It's cream cheese Danish. You really can't go wrong. I like it. You guys know me. Anything sweet, I'm going to like it. So how's your Sunday? I don't know what day it'll be when you get this video, but today it's Sunday. And I hope yours is going really, really well. Let's cut into this cherry one. I love cherry Danish. I actually love cherry cheese Danish, and that's why I got one of each. There's the cherry one. You get four huge Danish in a pack and you get two packs for eight bucks. So pretty much a dollar Danish. Like I said, it's, it's Danish. It's sugar. What's not to like? I do think I would like the cherry cheese mixed together. I think that would be really good. Mm. They also had apple. But As much as I love fall and apples and cinnamon and things like that, I didn't want the apple ones today. So how's your day going, family? How's your Sunday? I hope it's wonderful. 
If I didn't ask you already, and if I did, I'm asking you again. <laughs> oh, let me show you my nails. I did my nails today. Call myself trying to do something. I painted them pink, of course, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So you guys can see. See all that deliciousness. There you go. Anyway. It's Seafood Sunday. So I'm going to be doing a boil. I haven't done one in a while, so I've got to get back on it because as much as I try to vary the things that I eat, seafood's always going to be my first love. And I'm craving it, so i got to get it. I'm actually craving mussels right now. And I think that's Holly's spot. So, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to run to the grocery store and pick some up. And I don't buy my muscles until the day I'm going to make them, like the morning of, because um, I... They're alive and I don't want them to sit around too long and die. I mean you can put them on ice and you can keep them in the fridge and they're supposed to like Be okay for like eight hours. I don't trust it. The minute I buy them. I bring them home. I cook them But The person at the grocery store said that they'd be okay mm -mm. Nope I buy them when, I, when I'm going to cook them, and I cook them immediately. The green lips, though, I buy on the half shell, and I buy frozen. Because you can't, well, I can't find them live around here anywhere. Do you guys um, have a place where you can buy green lip mussels that are alive, like the black ones? Let me know. Because I've never found any place here in Ohio where you can purchase them live. They're Australian green lip mussels. I'm guessing in Australia you can get them live, but over here I don't think so. Even at the Asian market. Cause that's where I get mine from. They're frozen. So. I don't think we can get them live. I feel like somebody's cutting the grass. I think I hear a lawnmower, but it's like, like a couple houses down. Because I can hear it, but it sounds like it's off in the distance. Sheena's working today, so she's up and moving and feeling better. She stopped by, which I don't know why she stopped by 
early because she's coming to dinner anyway. But I think she stopped by because she was excited to bring me a piece of her apple pie. She made an apple pie. She never made an apple pie from scratch. So she was feeling really proud of herself. And she stopped by to bring me a piece. Which I should be eating now, but I'm going to eat it. She said it tastes good. We're going to see. I just have my mouth set for these Danish. So. Mm. They're good. I think um, I would heat them up a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe like 10, 12 seconds. But they're good. I like them. And I think they're worth it. And I can't finish all those. I got them sitting over here to the side. So you know I'm going to send them to my grandbaby. Selena will be having Danish in her lunch. I'm drinking the Starbucks Italian Rose Coffee. And I just want to tell you, it's hairy. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what I call my coffee when it's really strong. I call it hairy because it'll put hair on your chest. Excuse me, burp. No matter what I eat or drink, I'm going to burp. I think I suck in too much air when I talk or when I eat. But I do prefer a stronger coffee. All right, you guys. I just wanted to pop in and, and have a breakfast bite, have some Danish and some coffee with you and just chit chat just a little bit before I really get into um, running my errands and, and getting dinner ready and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you back again later today in another video, um, although I won't have on the same thing. This is just my morning, my morning cozy kind of gear and it just says working out is cheaper than therapy is what my shirt says. Um, but I have this on. It's a little chilly in the house, so I had to bundle up a little bit. I am not ready to turn on the heat yet. I'm just not. I'm going to figure it out. Um, because it's supposed to be like 70 today. So I'm not going to be clicking my furnace off and on, off and on. So I'm trying to bear with it. Usually I don't turn my heat on until like November. Because um, as long as I can put on a sweater and still be comfortable or, you know, throw on one of my little throw blankets when I'm sitting on the couch and still be comfortable. That's what I do. I don't turn the heat on until I absolutely have to. When you can see like the smoke or the, the you know, how when you talk and you have that little um, mist of smoke, when you can see that <laughs> in the house, when you're talking, then I turn on the heat. Um, my kids are always complaining when they come over there. Mom, it's cold in here. You ain't turn on your heat. It's like, look, baby girl, until you helping to pay one of these heating bills up over here, I'm going to turn on the heat when I get ready to turn on the heat. I'm good. Coco got a coat. We fine. <laughs> but I will. I turn on the heat for my grandbaby. If she stay in the weekend, I'll turn it on. Um, but I just, you know, them bills is high. True. I got to try to, you know, manage my coin. I can't be doing all these seafood boils and, and you know, all that if I'm spending... $300 on a heat bill. No, not really, guys. But I do. I, I'm just frugal. I try to be anyway. And like I said, it's just me over here. So as long as I'm comfortable, I ain't turning on yet. Anyway, I blabbled, blabbled. Between babbled and blabber, I've blabbled on enough. So <laughs> I'm going to go because I got some stuff I got to do. Get ready for this boil. So you guys will see me again in my next video later today. But I will have changed clothes because I'm not going to wear this. I could, but I want to wear pink because, like I said, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I'm trying to wear pink as much as I can. I do have some Halloween videos coming up where I will dress up for those. Um, my daughter has informed me that I need to wear teal for something else this month. 
we're running out of days. I mean, it's the 20th, so I got to try to get them all in. And I'll have her talk to you guys about what I'm wearing till for. I truly don't remember. Um, but anyway, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thank you for stopping by and having a Danish and a coffee um, breakfast bite with me today. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. And maybe your friends and family will stop by and have a delicious breakfast bite with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys.